My talk that I just gave was about melanoma of the head and neck. Um, uh, again, another uh, disease that's increasing in epidemic proportions. Um, uh, probably 50 years ago, we didn't go out during uh, sunny times of the days, and we uh, wore much more protective clothing. Um, didn't mention it in my talk today, but uh, tanning booths, tanning beds uh, cause melanoma. Uh, they're banned in many countries, but not in the U.S. Um, they are starting to be banned for patients under the, or people under the age of 18, because there's really significant data that at, at young age, uh, it's even more uh, damaging to the skin and uh, basically it's a cancer-causing machine. So melanoma is actually a deadly form of skin cancer. Uh, it presents typically as a pigmented mole-like lesion with irregular borders that's growing, changing, bleeding, or itching. Um, it can spread to lymph nodes and it can spread in the system. I talked about the first patient I treated, which was a 16-year-old boy with melanoma of the back of his scalp. And uh, in 20 plus years ago, I performed wide excision, removed the melanoma, sentinel lymph node biopsy, which is what I talked about today, which is a technique to identify spread to lymph nodes early. Uh, he had spread to two lymph nodes on that sentinel lymph node biopsy technique. And then we then performed a neck dissection and found a third positive lymph node. He received a neck dissection, uh, adjuvant interferon for a year, and uh, survived his melanoma. Uh, 20 years later, I still get notes on this patient to this day. Uh, and I think it's because we identified his lymph node metastasis, his spread of melanoma to his lymph nodes early. So we could eradicate the disease, give him the proper treatment, and really give him a chance to survive. Now, the sentinel lymph node biopsy uh, techniques are not available in every country in the world. It's not, uh, we're here in Russia, it's not totally clear that that is a technique value, you know, available to every patient in Russia, but uh, hopefully someday uh, we can train more and more uh, providers to utilize this technique and to get the equipment necessary to uh, utilize this technique. Um, so most patients with 80% of melanoma patients, it's not in the lymph node, so it really helps only the 20% where it has reached the lymph nodes like that 16-year-old boy I took care of 20 years ago.